Hey there, this is Freddie with 5280scuba.com. If there was a product that would allow you to put your camera right in the face of a shark, and also the same product could be used to take a selfie of you and a friend underwater, would that be something worth looking into? We'll get to it in just a second. I'm here today with a product called the Aquapod, made by Sea Life. It is uh, what you might nickname a selfie stick, but this is so much more. They call it a monopod. If you were to use this on the land, it extends down far enough that you can sit your camera on top, it's steady on the ground, and you can take your pictures holding it very nice. If you were to take it hiking, as I did in Alaska, I extended it fully and I put it on my shoulder with the camera kind of facing down and forward. And it kind of looked like a nine foot tall giant following me. Uh, it was really cool footage. But what it does for the diver, and that's really kind of what it's meant for, it allows you to get close ups of creatures that perhaps you wouldn't want to put your hand near. Um, and also get that selfie if nobody else is around to take the shot. And so, it's a pretty simple product. Uh, the cool factor really is that it kind of fits up nice and small. Um, it has three different sections. It's extremely sturdy. You can't bend it. It's not like a little flexible pipe, but it's still very light because it's aluminum. Uh, it's got a coating over it and uh, it's, it's pretty adjustable. Starting with the top, if you can kind of see inside of there, the top completely rotates. So I could take an image facing this way of something and it also has um, two mounts for it so you can mount anything that fits a tripod so a regular camera and also dive camera housings it also has one specially for a GoPro you just literally push this button slide it off you can slide the new one on it clicks on there positively uh, never comes off it's great now if you were going to do a selfie you can see this little convex mirror on the outside when I first bought this I thought yeah how, how important could that be but What's really cool about it is you can't pick out detail when you have it extended in the selfie mode when you're sticking it out there. You can't pick out detail, but if you can see your silhouette in that convex mirror, then you're in frame with the camera on top. So it really comes in handy. None of that chopping your head off or you're trying to take a picture of you and another person and half of them is gone. Okay, so that's actually a pretty cool feature. The way it works is very positive locking, just like a tripod on land. You lock it and you slide it in and out, okay? So you can extend it any distance you like. Now I'll say sometimes when people come in, they're, they're looking for something kind of small. Well, this is kind of small right here, and at least you have the choice to go bigger if you want. The ones you buy that are just tiny like this, you can't really get extended very far. And I'll tell you why that's important. One of the coolest features of using an aquapod underwater is that you can get that camera really close. And it's not always just something scary like a shark or something. Uh, sometimes it's for the quality of the picture you're gonna take. I used this in uh, the Bahamas and put it down inside of a cannon with the camera on. And then as I slowly withdrew it, you got that imagery of what the heck is this camera inside and then you come out and you're in a cannon and then you see the whole ship behind it, which was really, really kind of cool. When your camera or your GoPro is on this thing and you're extending it out towards the fish, they're not worried about the camera. They're worried about you. You're the big, ugly, scary thing with the bubbles coming out of your head. And so they're looking at you, but this camera's not doing anything. So you can stick it right, right in the midst of their school oftentimes. And if you're gonna do a selfie, that's kind of too, cool too. You really can't do that with a short one. And this one can be short if you want to, but it can also be long if you want it to as well, okay? Um, so the... Uh, Simplicity of the use of it, these tabs are big enough you can even use it with gloves. So if you're diving in colder water or you're just a diver that uses gloves, it's still very, very simple to use. Um, the value, okay, this is what sets this one apart a little bit from some of the others, okay? It's a little pricey for what you get, but I'm gonna say that has driven some people away from purchasing it and they go with the smaller one. I went with this one and I paid the little extra money, but what I feel like I get for it is I get the flexibility of being able to go deep or go far away if I want to. And it really increases the amount of images that I can get, okay? So um, because of the price, I've given that a rating of a five. And you can't get any distance with the cheaper ones, right? Now, as far as 
It's durability. This one is my personal one. I brought it to show without opening the package of another one how it extends and everything. I've had this for four years. A little scratched up, but it's perfect. It's in great shape, okay? And I still has plenty of dives left in it, plenty of trips left in it, and it comes in handy. So four years, no problems at all. I don't have anybody bringing any back. There's nothing that rusts on it. So I, I give it a durability of a nine. Uh, I would say the, uh, an improvement that I would add, it comes with, in the package, it comes with a little rubber, almost like a tether that you can connect to something, but it's rubber and it's soft, and mine I lost long ago. It does also come with a wrist strap, a little bit cumbersome because it's long, but if you were gonna hold it and keep it on your wrist, yeah, I choose not to use it. I will say that if there's any negative to this whatsoever, it's really, because, it's really that you have to kind of positively carry it. If I was gonna improve anything, I would put um, an aluminum or a you know, heavy duty D-ring clip on here so that you can clip it on a BC or something. Now I do something kind of interesting. It's like a sword and a scabbard. So my cummerbund on my BC, I just slide this right down in there and my camera's up here. So it, it never comes out. I have never had a problem with that. And that's if I need to use my hands. Okay, so. The pros, you can get photos you otherwise couldn't get. Close up on things, eels, scary things, up in holes, places like that. You can get really close ups when you'd otherwise be nervous to. Um, and it's light and it's easy to pack. This even fits on a carry-on and just sits off to the side. It doesn't get in the way of anything. So the summary is, I, I've rated this as the cool factor. I gave it an eight. And uh, let's see, the features and the benefits, I gave it an eight as the quality and the functionability of it. It's always worked exactly like it is, very positively, exactly like they meant it to be. I gave it a nine. The durability, I gave it a nine. Have had no challenges with it whatsoever. For its pricing, I gave it a five, okay? And the five is, it'll do. I mean, it's good. And so the overall BA scale rating is 7.8. And if you've used the Aquapod yourself, we would appreciate your reviews and other people would as well. So if you'll just go to the section where the Aquapod is, click on review, leave your comments there, that'll help. And if there's any other product you'd like us to review, just drop us a note on the email and let us know and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Thanks.